In the first episode of this short series, I started working on the shelving in my office. I'm Robert and in this episode I finish mounting the shelves and start working on the workbench. The lower shelf was missing a small piece that would cover the remaining distance between the walls, so in order to mount this piece I had to first mount a small support on the wall. With this support piece mounted, I could now attach the final part of the lower shelf and in order to have a more finished look and a sturdier shelf, I added a similar support to the other side as well. To gain some additional storage space, I mounted two small boards that would increase the size of the upper shelves. As the shelves had straight cuts, but the walls were not perfectly straight, the small gaps between them had to be filled, so I used some wooden corner pieces on the upper shelves as well. I used an adhesive to glue these pieces to the wall. After completing the shelving, the next step was the assembly of the workbench. But before I could start drilling holes, I first assembled the true drawers that I will use for storing tools and camera gear. The pieces for the drawers were also custom cut in the store where I bought the materials, as I don't have a circular saw and because of this I ran into several tolerance and size issues. I tried correcting them using some sandpaper and a hand saw, but this caused some chipping that I easily fixed with a bit of wood glue and some clamps. After the glue had dried, I could start assembling the drawers. First I fixed all side panels, then I attached the bottom piece. The front panel was fixed after I attached the handle and the last step was to attach the metal rails. When deciding on the model of rails I would use, I did some research and found one that could hold a load of up to 45 kilograms and was the right length for this project. No additional groove was necessary so the mounting was easy. The most important thing I had to ensure was that both pieces are attached at the same distance from the bottom of the drawer. This completes this episode, in the next one I will start mounting the cabinet side panels, getting one step closer to completing this project. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this episode please consider subscribing or giving a thumbs up, till next time, take care.